Shopify product grid tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own product grid within your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com, sign in into your account and you see here we have the admin dashboard. Once you are here, you're going to visit your online store. So you're going to click on online store. Then you need to set up the theme. But before we proceed to the customization of the store, I need you to go here to the product section. Then you need to set up all the products that are necessary for you. So in my case, I will have also some collections. Go ahead and create some collections right there. I'm going to create a sample from the collection right there for the first one here. We are going to put shirt and then we are going to browse the product and put whatever we have. For example, this one, click on save and boom, here we have a uh, collection created. So we are going to add another collection, which is here, something like bundle. Then we are going to choose and browse the product, click on add, boom, click on add here. So we have here the second one. Now I'm going to create another collection, create collection. Here we are going to put maybe something like sample, just I don't know what to name it. And click on browse, mystery box we are going to add maybe. So we are going to put this, then click on save. Boom, here we have it. We have here three collection items. So now we are going to head over the Shopify themes, which is on the online store, obviously. We're going to click on customize and it will open up the Shopify store editor. As you can see here, we have the store. Now I will give you a little uh, here explanation about the grid or product grid. Here for the grid, it is something resembling this. But in the grid uh, here um, example, we are going to give, for example, eight, like here we have four, we are going to give eight product here right away. So how we can do that, or this is the goal from adding a grid or a product grid, we are not going to make the client or the visitors uh, here scroll down to see a product or do something this is the best here I'm going to let you see here this is the best thing or the best example of a grid so here we have a, a, this is an Instagram feed this is a, the uh, grid uh, what I mean by grid as you can see here we have uh, this this post and then the next one is um, here pasted with the border of the first one the third one also like that this is a full grid so we are going to do nearly the same thing from here to the products so within the templates we are going to leave the header and the footer alone we are going to head over the templates then we are going to add a section i'm going to add a section then we are going to see here that we have a lot we have featured collection featured product, collection list, and etc. So let's see here what do we have. We're going maybe to set up here. We have a row, collectible content. I'm going to choose something that is going to be suitable. So collage, no. So we are going to add a featured collection again. Now within this, we are going to click on it and we are, can get some parameters. So here, the maximum product to show, we're going to increase that and put it here for eight to nine. So we are going to set up here uh, like that. The number of the columns on desktop, we can go ahead and egg man it right there. So here, maximum product, we have made this. You can also make another one here just under it. So we can go ahead and do or go to the collection. This is why I told you to go to the collections and put a lot of products. So this is the reason. 
I'm going to add another one, which is going to be here uh, like that. I'm going to add featured collection just under it. Get the same uh, right there parameter. So we're going to put here the max. Uh, but here we are going only to delete the uh, heading. So you cannot distinguish this from that, but they are like this. So I'm going to see here what do we have top margin, top padding. We're not going to set up these because we have two lines of six and six products. We have 12, and this is called a grid. It is resembling to this one as you can see and we can also add another one like this one go ahead to the section click on featured here we have it now i'm going to maybe let this to four and four because we're going to put here four maybe like that and the only thing is going to be uh, deleting the title so like that Go ahead like this and the first one also we are going to put it here for and like that for the featured collection we are going to leave only the title for the first one so as you can see we are going to click on save before that as you can see here you are going to see here a grid resembling this one it is a not very as you can see very close to each other but it is what it is so maybe you can see here some uh, padding, bottom padding, don't you admit the padding. As you can see here, we have to leave the padding. So we are going to remove the padding um, here for all of these. So I'm going to remove the padding for that to make it as close as possible for this one too. And here we have it. So as you can see, it is a full grid. And here we have it. It is resembling a lot for this one. So you can enable the swipe on mobile. And also we have here the uh, bulk add. You can add some, for example, a higher quantity uh, on purchased uh, or their items and etc. So you can see here and show the vendor, show second image on hover, like that. This is uh, very good for the uh, multi-image products. And for the image shape, you can go ahead and choose whatever image that you are going to put. Here we have the image ratio. You can add some squares. Here we have portraits and adapt to image. So here I am going to need something to add here which is going to be squares now i'm going to click on save i'm going only to head over the product and then the collection so we are going to see the sample here and we are going to add all of the products so we are going to make four products here we have it now we are going to be back here to the online store I'm going to demonstrate here everything in details. So this is the inconvenient of letting uh, the, um, as you can see here, where is it? I'm going to give you here uh, the image ratio to adapt to image. So as you can see here, when you put a square or portrait, everything is going to be the same size. But when you set adapt to image, you're going to see something different. So. We are going here we're going to put the collection select the collection we are going to use the sample and here we are going to put the square for this one we are going to select the square also now we are going to select the sample collection also boom collection sample boom and here we have our grid as you can see so that was very simple. All you need to do is to remove the first title and remove the padding, the top padding and the bottom padding. And here we have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.